Welcome to Fuji City. That in the distance needs no introduction. That's Mount Fuji. Welcome to Fuji City. Awesome. Look at how beautiful it is. I'm always just overwhelmed with the beauty of Fujisan. No matter where you are in Japan, in this area, you can look up and see it. Well, when it's not too cloudy. There's nobody around here I can say hi. Uh, I'm going to be taking you on this live stream down Yoshiwara Shotengai. This is a Shotengai, a shopping street that has a history going back <coughs> to the Edo period. Wow. Um, and uh, uh, we're going to go up and down here. It, you know, there's loads of, of souvenir shops. There's loads of, of old shops going back generations. And we're going to get a chance to, to walk through there. I've come here to actually film an episode on green tea. I'm pretty excited about that. And after this, I'm going to be going to a green tea shop that's in their fifth generation selling and that's in the same spot. It's that kind of, that history, that kind of, um, I don't know, general, generational uh, small business that really makes me interested uh, in this city and in this Shoten guy in particular. Um, I'm going to show you some of the history here, but let's look at the map first. This is the map of the Shoten guy. It's not too big. Um, it's about, I think they said it's about um, a kilometer long or so, but there's about 250 shops in this area. And the history goes, as I said, goes back to the Edo period where it was pretty much just a trail back then. And that's Mount Fuji in the distance here. This is a, um, a wood black print, ukiyo-e. And that's where we are today. It's completely changed from the Edo period. Now it looks like a city, which is Fuji City. So let's go. It's gonna be fun. I just arrived about um, 15 minutes ago. Came in, I checked into the Ryokan early. They know I'm coming here to film. Tonight, I'm hoping that I can take you inside of this historic Ryokan, which is a, a traditional Japanese inn and show you inside, right here off of the Shoten Gai. It's still a little bit early, the shops are closed, but Things will be opening up as we walk along in about 20 minutes. Shoten Guy are covered shopping arcades. They're all over the country. They were mostly built in the 1960s, 1950s and 60s after the World War II. Just like this, this one is not fully covered. This shopping street just has it on the sidewalks here, but there's a loads of businesses specializing in certain things like tea or certain type of clothing or butcher shops or milk shops. Many of those have gone out of business, but places like Fuji City, they're still here. You can see the signs up, up on the Shoten Guy. Of course, they celebrate Mount Fuji. Yoshiwara Shoten Guy is what's written on there. And you see that cloud? That's a Japanese style cloud. It, it uh, kind of looks more geometrical. Well, that looks like a family business getting ready to open soon. Oh, it's this is a, a family textile shop. Do you see that? They kind of selling materials and things like that. Hey, Tasty Chronicles here. For Kanai, get fun. You got it. Whoa, I love these little side streets as well. Looks like a temple over there. We'll try to go off road and, and look around this area. We have, we have about 45 minutes, but I'm already impressed with the manholes. Look at that. As I tell some people, sometimes it pays to look down. Not looking for coins, you're looking for manhole covers. And this is along the tactile um, guideline for people who have uh, a visual impairment. And it is used more than we know, but people, you can feel, you can feel that the uh, pavement underneath your shoes. So it helps you, when you feel this, it helps you to turn and cross the street safely. And you'll find this all over Japan, and uh, they do an incredible job of making sure that it's always in good shape for people. All right, we'll walk to the end of the street, and then we're going to make our, our way back up here. 
That's interesting. There used to be a theme park called Gulliver's, Gulliver's Theme Park, I think, uh, back in the 1980s that went under. And they had a life-size, no, I shouldn't say life-size, a life-size situation where we were the people of, of Lilypool. Is it, that's li Lilliput, right. And Gulliver was this massive, massive thing. So if you were looking on a Google, on Google Earth or Google Maps from the satellite, it looked like this massive man was, was uh, tied down to the ground. But they, they ended up just um, removing it and destroying the amusement park. And now I think it's a, a soybean farm or something. It's a shame we did the bubble era in Japan. We saw the rise of so many really unique amusement parks. And then when the bubble burst, a lot of them just went under, especially after the tech burst in the early 2000s. And well, we lost a lot, just like we are with the pandemic here. We're losing a lot. It looks like this pachinko shop has gone under. They're looking for a new tenant. This could be my new office. Right next to Club Night Queen. Yes! Tor Toro Porco! Contribution for the Kanai Gift Fund. Yes, Kanai could not make it today. I'll be here for three days. So she's staying with the dad for <laughs> for for that time, which is okay. I'll call at night and check in and see how everything's going. And no, I will not be going home empty-handed. Look at that old building over there. All right, we're going to have to go off-road. But the Shoten guys are were really interesting. You can see up here, they've put in some kind of glass. So when it's raining, people can still shop. It's kind of reminiscent of in the U.S., like the 1950s shopping streets. And then the shopping malls came in in the 1980s and put those out of business. But in Japan, they're still, they're still really interesting. You, just, you never know what you're going to find. Like that, right there. I think it's an ashtray. The future is bright for you, R2-D2. A little bit smoky, too. What? interesting i don't know what shop this is i guess they're going to be opening up soon and then we'll find out looks like it's a a music shop or something looks like they do have international fashions and food here only on a show ten guy would they put the two together but open up we want to see Things I heard open up at around 9 30, 10 o'clock. All right, let's go off road here. I see on the side road loads and loads of temples and shrines. And I saw a temple at the last alley. Now we have a shrine, and I think we're going to get some really nice views of Mount Fuji from this direction. I guess you guys heard the, the crow. It's always a little bit freaky. They're always watching. They know what we're up to. Probably Tony's watching in Minnesota. They feel his presence. The dark side is strong in that one. Whoa, I, I just saw something. I'm gonna show it to you in a second, but you know, I this is such a picturesque little shrine here right whoosh, right there on the ground do you see it i haven't i've never seen a painted japanese i've never seen a painted mount fuji manhole cover like this one never ever this is like psychedelic we need anyone have a black light we need a black light to see this one 
That is awesome. That is, wow. I just wanna, why is it purple? Man, this town is cool. They do paint it like this and they have to request that it's painted in this color. I was just, I'm, I'm a manholer, meaning I, I like i like to look at, I like to, whenever I travel, I'm always looking for the manhole covers. You can get manhole cover cards from the tourist office usually, or city hall. Uh, uh. Trying to live stream here. bugger off in a second. I told him I'm bigger than him. You see him? Uh, uh. Stay, keep to yourself. Just don't call your friends. What a small, very, very small shrine, very picturesque. Never walk down the middle here. Let's look around the back. Boy, that one's really angry. He is calling his buddies. Beautiful. Let's see if we can make a prayer. Oh, here we go. I got five yen. Awesome. Do you all know how to do it? How to uh, give a prayer? So ring the bell. Throw the money. Let's bow two times. One, two, clap. Pray for love and safety for all. And quick ending to this pandemic. Bow. And we're done. He's really angry, that crow. Gregory, do not do that. That's the dark side. You don't want to do that, Gregory. Just st stick to normal good things. Peace and love, all right? Peso, don't encourage Toby. Don't encourage Gregory. Gregory must be one of the disciples of Toby's. Typically you would wash your hands, but in a pandemic, most of the, the um, water at shrines are closed down. Yeah, the side streets are really nice. I love the, you know, I, a lot of people don't like the ugly um, telephone lines, but I kind of like it. I, it kind of gives you know where you are, right? And they didn't they didn't put it underground because of the because of earthquakes and just the difficulty of uh Oh he's gone, he saw me coming. Oh he's setting up for an attack. Don't know. Crows have been known to attack people who taunt them. It's monkeys too. Alright, let's head back to the Shoten guy. Here's a normal looking manhole cover. It's not quite as nice. It's a lot better when it's purple, huh? <laughs> I love the purple one. I gotta go back there. We'll, we will see what we can get at the vending machine, okay? We'll see what we can find along the way. 
This is quite a large Shoten guy. Oh, here's the radio station. Now, this is the only place where I got information about the Shoten guy. And you can see them broadcasting, but not right now. They do a lot of community things, bring in um, high school students and, and other locals. So that's pretty cool. This Shoten guy sort of is the center of Fuji City. I guess you could say Fuji Station is also pretty center. Shin Fuji, which is the Shinkansen stop, is a little bit outside. Interesting. So they also, this shop sells apparently a lot of stuff. Chocolate, but also antiques and things. I guess you really have to diversify if you're going to make a business out here. All right, this looks like the end of the Shoten guy, but there appears to be some sort of train crossing over there. It's a big intersection. If we look back this way, you can see we walked quite a ways. All right, whoa. This is a five, one, two, three, four, five road intersection. How cool is that? Oh, wow. Hey, John Kimura, keeping us fed. Arigatou gozaimasu. There's Mount Fuji just sort of peeking over. It's always looking down on us. 3,776 3, meters high, Fujisan is. And there is snow up there right now. I kind of wanted to go this way and um, there's, n there's nobody around. I kind of wanted to go this way and uh, check out the train crossing. There is a station that gets you here, but I had to come by taxi from Shin Fuji Station, which um, took about 10 minutes and cost $13, which I thought was a little bit, a little bit pricey. I think the Tokyo taxis, they start at 400 yen. The taxis here started at 600 or 680 yen but I don't think there's as many people, so it's good to support uh, the local, local economy. It's very good to support the local economy. That's what, that's what we're supposed to do. You know? Cheryl NP, great video, John. When are we gonna see Kanai? We miss her. Yeah, she's been so busy. She had a, um, she had a, a, a dance performance, a dance recital with her students with her students um, on Sunday and planning that and keeping that uh, and, and doing all of that really took a lot of time. So she's taking some, some time off and relaxing, but she does have students to teach. She's been quite busy for the last couple of months. We'll have her back on soon. She's doing well. Oh, here's the station. Look at this really old station here. All right, let's go to just take a quick look. This is the Yoshiwara Honmachi, Honsho, Honmachi station. Look at that little mailbox. Oh, by the way, I'm sending the um, uh, Australian postcards, the last one, batch are going out from Fuji City. So maybe it'll have a Fuji postmark on it, which is pretty cool. All right, here's a map. I guess you get to meet a lot of people that are from another generation. I think she's either selling shoes or throwing shoes. I'm not sure which one. There's a gas and stove store. Oh, there's a vegetable store and there's a beer store. That guy's got a whole case of them. He has a lot of friends, I'm sure of it. There's the, that's the shrine that we went to. And then if you can, if you look around, you'll find some more places. There's an electronic shop. He sells air conditioners. 
And there's a guy who sells bicycles and she has a bicycle pump. Do you see that? I like it. They made it probably with the real faces of the owners. And there's a guy, he's selling uh, groceries here and uh, pharmaceuticals. And uh, there's a farmer selling his daikon radish. Very, very cool. Wow, this station has even gachapon. Let's see. This train gachapon. Sushi. Uh, so they, had, they do have some rules with riding the train. Uh, hand disinfection and wearing a mask is very important right now. That's kind of neat. Boy, this this anime is killing it. This uh, uh, like Devil Ninja anime, which is anime, which is on uh, um, Netflix, I believe. Oh, and the Fuji Marathon is quite quite popular as well. That's still taking place at the end of this year. The ladies' marathon too. Apparently, there's a train coming in. Maybe we can see it coming. Wait for it. Hey, WX Turbo's here. Hey. How you doing? Welcome. Craig Kawaguchi. I shall get a beverage then. Faisal. 007. Is Studio Ghibli, Ghibli Museum closed? I believe it's open, but it was closed for a very long time. All right, we're going to get a train sighting here. That's pretty exciting. Train sightings are always exciting. Oh, here it comes. Shane's excited for the train. Bring it, he says. He didn't actually say that. Oh, it's a one man. It's a one-man train, meaning the conductor does everything. So he's going to be taking the tickets from the people. Watch. So the, as the passengers get off, he collects the tickets and all of the... Any money, but extra money that people might have. That was pretty quick. When people know the routine, it makes his job easier. It goes right between all of the buildings through neighborhoods and stuff. That's really cool. One of the advantages to building the train line before they build the houses, then they just build the houses around the train line. Mike D, top of the morning to ya. It is a pretty nice morning. Uh, it's it's a little bit warm. It was really chilly yesterday in Japan, and it's it's warmed up today. And and hopefully, over the next few days, we'll have sunny weather for for the drone shots of Mount Fuji for an episode that I'm making here. So I'm so excited to to film. Ken Rutley, welcome. Dragon Dark Fire is reading my mind. I could use some breakfast. Yeah, my interview with the tea shops at 1030. By the way, the speed limit is 40 miles, 40 kilometers per hour uh, through local areas here. So when in doubt, in towns, just go 40, which I guess is close to like 35, 35 kilometers per hour the top of Mount Fuji. Let's move on. Back to the Shoten guy with history going back to the Edo period. Now, I don't think the Shoten guy really started to come together until the Showa era. 
This looks pretty good. Izakaya Lala. Whoa, it's got Filipino food. Look, Philippines. Very awesome. So that means that, whoa, what? So wait a second, is this really like sponsored by Amazon? This seems like something maybe borrowed. This looks like it was borrowed. Do you, can you receive packages here? <laughs> I don't know. You know, Amazon's doing really good business. Apparently they've, they've opened up a bar here. That's pretty amazing. I love that. I love that. As somebody who owns the trademark for only in Japan, I know that people tried to imitate what I what I've registered and they get pretty creative with being just a little bit different. And I'm I'm us I'm usually okay with it. The only reason I registered the trademark was so that other people can't can't legally try to you know make money off of what I'm trying to do. It cost about $2000 to register the trademark in Japan. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That one looks pretty close to the Amazon logo. I don't know. Whoa, Nabe! I love Nabe. I'm looking for places to eat. Um, in about five minutes I'm gonna walk past the location of where I'm staying for the night which in itself is a pretty historical place well this yakitori looks delicious I w now my friend Dean is coming and he's gonna be filming for one day with me on this Dean Dean was in a, a couple of live streams and an Ibaraki episode with Wagyu last uh, two years ago a good friend of mine and uh, yeah he's gonna ride a bicycle and we're gonna ride up to Mount Fuji tomorrow in the morning it's not that far they have these they have these um yeah Vaughn knows Dean they have these um a battery powered bicycles that allow you to go up the hill like there's no hill at all so we're gonna probably kill that battery really fast because you know going up Mount Fuji is like it's a lot of battery power but it, I'm, I'm pretty excited to try anyways it's gonna be a fun morning tomorrow Yes, Dean is a model. He's been in many commercials, and if you've been in Japan, you might you might have seen him on a wall or poster or in the station. He was in some live streams about a month ago too. We we went down to Daisen together, down in Totori. Wow, Philippines is really representing here. I'm getting the feeling that that's the Filipino flag, right? I'm getting the feeling that there's a really, really happy population of people from the Philippines here. <laughs> I like, it's nice to hear from Ken Rutley. Is that Halifax, Ken? Have a nice day, thank you. Oh, here's the taxi company of where I got my uh, taxi from the station. They have a little office on the Shoten guy. So people are getting older and older in Japan. Oh, and the gift shops have opened up. This is awesome. Okay, great. So the, the taxi companies are here because a lot of older people will call and ask for taxis, so they're always ready. People don't actually get the taxis from this location. They'll call them and then in the neighborhood and then take people to the station. Check out this gift shop. They have a bunch of gifts. Whoa, look at that Mount Fuji bag. How cool is that? It's shaped like Mount Fuji too. Mount Fuji toilet paper. Oh, stop Corona toilet paper. Whoa. Mount Fuji calendars. This is the Fujisan paradise of gifts and goods for family members. Look at that cat's hand. It's 
creative. I think those are chopstick holders. Interesting. Mount Fuji hat. That looks like the London hat that Joey wore in Friends, you remember? But a Mount Fuji version. And knitted. Whoa, look at these cups. When they're upside down, they look like Mount Fuji. Whoa. Toy Shop Kimura. It just has that, that 19, 1960s family feel to it, doesn't it? I like this. So you can, you can go in here and check out the latest toys. Yeah, hit the like button and I'll get something to eat. It's all about the... Like, oh, there's that, that ninja anime on Netflix that everyone's watching. Oh, Easter Bunny English School. That's a nice name for an English school. It looks like a, a shop on Oxford Street in London. It's interesting. Tokyo Tom 23 is here. Yes. I will I actually the, the day that I leave, I'm going to be really buying a ton of gifts. This is where the thumbnail was taken, and you can see Mount Fuji is right up there. There's that Panasonic sign. So if you go up, if you go up to one of these buildings here, you get a pretty neat, neat little view. Hey, gimbal! If you do that again, you're gonna get a name. Right there is a really nice shot. Now, the, the, Mount Fuji was closed last summer because of the pandemic. No one was able to climb it, which might be a good thing. Gives the mountain time to rest because so many millions of people have climbed this thing. This mountain, this volcano. It's good to give it a rest and clean it up a little bit, I think. This summer when it opens up again, it's going to be really nice. This is Shizuoka Prefecture, for those that don't know. Shizuoka is such a beautiful area. It's so natural, wide, open. And Fuji City is, is uh, kind of in the middle of it. Look at this old, old uh, mailbox. I should send the Australian postcards from here. That'd be pretty cool. I think Marty would like his postcard sent from, from this one. Whoa, you don't see too many of these kinds of shops, like the old family-run uh, shoe shops. I wonder if they know what the latest fashion is on shoes. Guess this is it. It's really nice. Oh, this is awesome. This is a, a high school uniform shop for the local schools. And you have to be a registered dealer and here are the schools that they serve up here. They have a list and bullet points of the schools that can get their uniforms here. Um, high school and, and junior high school and elementary school uniforms are a little bit pricey, I think. Which one do you like? This one looks like an, they, they look like an anime series. This one looks, this boys one looks too much like a business though. The ones in the back, they look like, they look more like an anime series. Like that. I don't know if I want my kid, I want my kid wearing something like this maybe. You know, no, I don't want him to look like a salary man because I want him to think outside the box, right? He's got no head. So in the last 30 minutes, oh, there's a department store. This is Tonboya. And they sell all the latest fashions in there. I like that red shirt up there. 
I think Kanai would look great in it in the yellow jumper. You should check it out. This is my neighborhood for the for the next uh, couple of days. This is my hood. Frank Enstein's here. Thanks, Frank. And G-Man Three Full. It's going pretty good. It's pretty good. JPB, buy some red horse on the Filipino shop. What's red horse? <laughs> I'm curious now. I did have some friends send me a Filipino um, a package with, with goodies in there. They got some good stuff. All right, I'm at this vending machine here. I don't see anything unique. Looks like the usual, usual. This looks good. This is a, a, a Nabe restaurant. So Dean is coming tonight, so we might have dinner. I gotta find a place where we can eat. That Nabe restaurant looks good. I think, okay, my, my, where I'm staying is coming up really soon. Oh, here's the butcher shop. Is that the, oh no, it's a pastry shop. Oh, yes please. Oh yes please. What do they got here? Oh yes, there's some kuti. That's um, uh, chestnut flavored desserts. Trying to see. Wow, that looks good. All right, I'm looking, I, I you know what's interesting? I haven't passed one convenience store here. This area is run by mom and pop shops. Not one convenience store. I love it. Not one national chain on this on this street. Not one. Always look for little teeny symbols. Something interesting. Just look up and look down and you find some weird unusual things. Like that up there. Here's where I'm staying. This is my uh, Ryokan. Taya Ryokan. Whoa, and he's making soba. Oh, he's the guy who let me in my room. Awesome. <laughs> he's making soba. How cool is that? Or is that udon? No, that's soba. Nice. Looks like a big pizza. Right, Nicholas, we're on the same page. All right, we'll be back. Fresh is very good. Um, tonight, if we have time tonight, I will take you on a little room tour, uh, take you inside of here, give you a look at my accommodations. I'm really happy to be staying here in a historical place, run by a, a family. Sugiyama Fruits. Is that a fruit shop? Awesome! Oh my god, I'm gonna see if I can get permission to film in there. That looks like a luxury fruit shop. Imagine a shop like that just for fruit. Respect. All right, here's the competitor's taxi. This is another ta taxi uh, Noriba, but all the taxis are gone. Interesting. Here's the late the uh, area barber shop. Again, there's like one of everything here. That's a nice looking barber shop there. Oh, this coffee shop would be really nice. Could use one right now. 
Not too many cafes open. But I do like the streets. Empty, quiet, peaceful. Could you live here? What do you think? John Wakamatsu's in the house. Here's a sign for the Yoshiwara. Oh, it says here the Yoshiwara um, uh, Inn is this way. All right, let's wrap around, why not? So we're gonna go off-roading. How you doing, everybody? Mount Fuji is this direction, and I'll take you, uh, we'll end the live stream wrapping around. I'll show you that area, but that seems to be the end of the Shoten guy. Oh, somebody's coming this way. So I wanna show you right here, this is, there's some history here. This is actually, this area, once again, for those joining us, uh, during the Edo period, that's what it looked like. It was pretty much just a strip with water on both sides that people would walk through to get to Mount Fuji. And uh, today, it's that shopping street. Um, I saw some more pictures with the history. They actually had photographs, but um, I wasn't able to get it for the live stream in time. It's a shame. Oh, check out that old ramen shop on the corner. Really beautiful manhole covers of Mount Fuji. You'll find in Fuji City. Um, I do see Mount Fuji. You can see it right there. Just the peak is over, over that building. That's how high it is. So we'll wrap around here. Just looking for the, just looking for the, uh, uh, other, there's another historic hotel here. Eugene Hubbard wants me to keep going, therefore, I shall keep going. It's a little cosmetic store. Hello from the Philippines. You know, there's so many Filipinos here. I've seen two Filipino restaurants. It's awesome. Might have to check out one tonight. Niku and Booze. That's the name of this place, Niku and Booze. I might have to check this place out. I, I, think, I think my list of, of places to check out is growing. Whoa! Is that Disney? Or Love Hotel? I don't know what that is. What is that? There's Mount Fuji over it. <laughs> That's Mount Fuji up there. Well, what is it? Boy, this and the Amazon bar make, it, make this such a classic st live stream now. <laughs> what is this place? What? Please tell me that this is a love hotel. No, it's kind of like a snack bar where you can go and get entertained. Nothing like that. That's interesting. Look at the little towers. I guess they're minarets. Except there's nobody in there. Nobody praying. I don't know. I think they serve alcohol in there. Probably this place does not exist in the Middle East. Just guessing. This might be... Might not be what they... People in the Middle East expected to see. Japan's image of, of Arabia is this, maybe. All right, let's go down this street now. I'm curious. Before we end the stream, we'll, we'll, we gotta go down here. Just waiting for the traffic light to turn. Everything has Mount Fuji on it, you know?
You gotta see what's going on with this place. Who else is singing a Disney song in their head right now? <laughs> It's a whole new world. I think that's under the, under the sea. I don't, I can't think of any of the relevant songs. Under the sea, under the sea. Dun, 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 dun. Look at this, it is a complete, what is this? No way! This is all like little snack bars. This is so theme parked. What? Uh, this really is a whole new world. No, these aren't open yet. These are late night. This would be like a club, like where a um, like uh, a lady is serving customers uh, drinks and and food. That's basically what a snack club is. Wow, I did not expect something so wicked. What's up with this? I guess we might have to do another midnight snack run here, huh? Well, there you go. The, the back of it is a cemetery, and um, if we look, look past that, we have a really nice view of Mount Fuji. Um, thanks so much for watching this live stream. I didn't know what to expect. This is my first time coming to this Shoten guy. I actually lived in uh, the neighboring town called Fujinomiya for about 20 years ago. And uh, it's kind of nice to be back in the area and be filming for the next few days. But I have an interview at 1030 uh, for some green tea here. Um, so hit the like button. If we can get to 1,000 likes, maybe I'll come back and live stream a little bit more from this area. I know a lot of you are, are um, um, staying at home, which is good. I got to work. Therefore... I've got to come here tonight. <laughs> it's part of it's part of the job. Yeah, I'm making an episode on on she's uh, green tea here. Uh, have a good day, everybody. I'll be back a little bit later. I intend to do a few live streams from here. Hit the subscribe button if you're not getting the notifications. Unsubscribe and subscribe again, or check out Patreon or Instagram. I put the notifications there uh, in the Insta stories, and uh, that helps you not to miss one. Because when we're live, you're with me. Here in Japan. So see see everybody.